Hey guys, it's Lucy and in this video I'm going to be giving you my top 10 tips on how to lose weight. Now all of these tips are things that I implemented during my weight loss journey. It took me just over a year to lose about 65 pounds. This is kind of the top 10 things that I go to to help me with my weight loss. Number one, find a reason that's gonna motivate you just by thinking about it. Now what I mean by that really is have your why. People talk about your, your why why you're started, why you're doing it, why it needs to happen. But for me, a game changer was having a reason for doing it as the ultimate motivation. I like to imagine myself at the end of a finish line or imagine myself completing something that I never thought was possible. In the beginning, I envisioned myself running a whole mile that was my goal i wanted to run a solid mile without stopping i envisioned it and every time i went to the cupboard and saw a packet of crisps i would envision myself finishing that mile the crisps are not going to help me i mean the, the crisps probably wouldn't have made much of a difference but it was all about lifestyle change so whenever i thought about or imagined myself running that mile it was such a motivation that it made me think I don't need snacks, I don't need crisps, I'm not hungry right now, let's move on. Number two, now this one was a big one for me, don't force yourself to eat foods you don't want. So whenever I imagined weight loss, dieting, fitness, lifestyle change, I just envisioned salads, vegetables, fruits plain chicken with vegetables like foods that i knew were healthy and i knew i should be eating but i just don't want it so in the end i had what i wanted but i just had a smaller portion i just cut it down still it's gotta be in every video <laughs> can you go away so in the end i just basically made a list in my head of everything that I enjoy and I like and that fills me up and that isn't really calorie dense and isn't anything that's gonna you know be a ton of calories but I'm still gonna enjoy it I just basically cut back on portions and I still eat all the food that I enjoy just in moderation now this one is really really simple and it's really really obvious but it, I think it might be one of the hardest ones to live by the fact that it is just maths and keep it that simple. Stepping on the scales is going to give you a, a figure, a number that you're going to go by. From there on it's just maths. It's just about minus minus minus, <laughs> that, hopefully. And then you've got the amount of calories that you have for maintenance. Your body will need a certain amount of calories to maintain that weight. And then obviously you've got your calorie deficit which is where you eat less than your maintenance so even if it's just one calorie less you're technically in a deficit but like you lower it down to lose weight again it's just simple maths you're working out what your maintenance is working out what you want to do for your deficit working out how much you weigh working out how much you want to lose on a weekly basis or a monthly basis so whenever you have a dish it doesn't matter what the food is it all has calories it's basically all maths <laughs> And if you try and keep it simple and take emotion out of it, and that's where it gets difficult, the trouble is it takes quite a long time to actually think, no, like, it, it really is that simple. Number four is one that I've had to get used to doing, which is to completely forgive yourself quickly and move on. It's all part of the journey. To forgive yourself as soon as possible, it is absolutely key. Instead of having something that you shouldn't have, and then thinking, oh, that's it, I've ruined the day, I might as well go and have this, that and the other that I'm craving now. Just decide there and then, after you've had that bad food at the beginning, do you know what? I'm okay with this. I'm not going to hate myself. I'm not going to regret anything that I've done. I'm not going to feel miserable. And I'm not going to beat myself up about it and then just ruin the rest of the day. I'm going to realise that I'm only human. These things happen. It's going to happen. You're going to mess up. 
Forgiving yourself quickly is key because then it doesn't spiral and then you're not gonna waste a day and then you wake up the next day, you waste another day. And it is so hard, but the best thing to do is to say, you know what, that's done, it's finished. I'm gonna carry on, I can do this. I've been losing weight for just over a year and I would be an absolute liar if I told you that I didn't mess up once. <laughs> Number five, know that it's going to take time. It is a long process. So it, it's a long game. Don't expect to think, oh well it's my birthday in three months so I need to be X weight by my birthday and then expect that the weight that you lose in that three months is gonna be off forever from your birthday. You could definitely lose weight in three months. You could probably lose an, a massive amount of weight if you really tried. But for me, it's all about sustainability and consistency. That's what's gonna get it off and that's what's gonna keep it off. Number six, this one hit me hard and it took me a lot of convincing of other people to understand that you cannot and should not force yourself to do workouts you don't want to do. Just like with the eating food you don't want to eat, you, you're not going to continue to work out and exercise and improve your fitness if what you're doing is boring, making you miserable, if you're dreading doing it as well, if you would quite literally rather be doing anything else. <laughs> There are some workouts. For example, I absolutely hate burpees, okay? I know that that's a thing, you know, but I genuinely hate burpees. And if I'm doing a circuit and there's burpees in it, it will literally put me off doing the whole circuit. I won't even bother and I won't even want to do it. And I won't put the effort into the burpee because I don't want to be doing it. Now, I am absolutely obsessed with running. When I go for a run, I put all of my effort into it i put all of my heart into it and i really go for it my running has improved massively dramatically during this journey but the burpees nah if i was told you need to do this exercise to lose weight and then i hated that exercise and from the very beginning i was constantly having to do that three four times a week i'm telling you now i would be 230 pounds like I was at the beginning of my journey right now I would not be in the position I am now at all because I wouldn't want to do it I wouldn't be enjoying it so think about what you like what do you like to do yeah personally used to love doing like dance workouts okay in front of the telly put some dance workouts on and this fun it's just like a laugh it doesn't feel like exercise you get hot and sweaty and your heart rate goes up that's all that matters get moving find what you like keep doing it then weight loss will feel easy because you're doing things that you enjoy become your biggest fan this is something i did very early on and i think this is something that was probably one of my favorite parts of my weight loss journey i turn from someone who absolutely hated themselves to someone who absolutely loved themselves and what they were achieving and what they were doing i absolutely became my my biggest fan 100 percent <laughs> there's a voice in your head and you've probably heard it you've probably had lots of conversations with that voice telling you no no you can't do that I started by walking on a treadmill and with the idea of you know maybe one day I can do a bit of running on this treadmill but at the time that voice was saying no no you can't don't be silly I'd get on the treadmill I'd start walking realizing how unfit I was and think no it's not for you no now that voice that used to say no is the voice that I turn into yes you can once you're able to turn that voice from saying no to yes, you're basically halfway there on your weight loss because you won't have to deal and handle with putting yourself down. You need to lift yourself up high because you can lift yourself higher than anybody else on the planet can lift you. Do not compare to someone else, it's all about you. Comparing yourself and your journey to someone else is ridiculous. Never compare yourself to anybody else. You are number one. Now, 
I follow and I enjoy watching people's weight loss journeys online. I think they're incredible. Some people lose a lot of weight every week. Some people are in the maintain stage and they're doing really well. Some people are falling off track. Everybody is different, completely different. If we all had the exact same diet and we all did the exact same workouts every single day, we would all look different we would all lose weight at a different pace we would all gain weight at a different pace it is we are just we are completely different people on completely different journeys and just because someone else has lost 50 pounds in four months doesn't mean you should also be losing that much in that time it's different everybody's gonna sustain in different ways we live different lifestyles you get the picture. It's all about you and what you can do. So number nine is probably one of my favourite ones actually. Don't quit to anything you're not willing to quit forever. <laughs> so by this, it's all about not over restricting. Now, back two years ago, I decided that I wanted to stop smoking. And I made that decision because I wanted to stop it. I wanted to cut it out of my life. I didn't want it around me. I didn't want anything to do with it anymore. So I didn't. So I've, I haven't had a cigarette or smoked in two years since make, making that decision because that was a final decision. Oh, when it comes to diet and weight loss, it's the same sort of thing. I refuse to cut out and quit things during this weight loss journey because I'm gonna come across them. Now with cigarettes, I'm never gonna need another cigarette for the rest of my life, but with food, I am gonna continue to need to eat, obviously, after my weight loss. So if I completely cut out, for example, completely cut out chocolate, anything with chocolate on it, in it, I just completely cut it out. I can't have it because I'm trying to lose weight. By the time I've lost the weight, and I come across some chocolate for the rest of my life, it's gonna be, I need that chocolate. I need all of that chocolate. And it's gonna make my life hell. I've not learnt how to handle chocolate and eat it in a normal way, causing bad relationships with food, basically. And tip number 10, my 10 out of 10 tip, 100%, you've all been told it before, do not quit. <laughs> Do not stop, do not stop. Please, 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 please. The one thing I have learned is I'm only gonna achieve if I'm gonna keep going. I can't stop. Now, when I say stop, it doesn't mean if I have something bad, and say like I have binged one night, it doesn't mean that that's me stopping. That That's me having a slip up but I'm not gonna stop. Tomorrow, I'm gonna try again. The next day, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna keep trying again. I'm not going to stop. I've not given up and I've not sat there and said, no, you know what? I'm done with this. I can't do this. Depending on what you're deciding to do, if it's some sort of diet that you've decided to go on and you've decided that you don't like the diet, and that, you know, that's up to you. You do you. You can stop whatever diet you want. <laughs> but when it comes to eating healthily, eating in moderation, working on your fitness, you have a bad workout and you just, you feel like you didn't do very well and you're not strong enough and you're not very good. Don't stop, don't quit. We all have workouts like that. The great thing about a weight loss journey is it's one of the very, very rare things that you can say. If you commit and continue and you don't stop, you're 100% guaranteed to lose weight. And there's not many things in life that will give you 100% guarantee if you put that effort in, if you keep going. But guys, I really, really hope that these 10 tips that I've given you that's helped me thus far on my weight loss journey are gonna be able to help at least one other person. Maybe one of those tips is something that you didn't consider, you didn't think about. It's just basic things that I've kind of created and gone by this past year. Obviously, I have messed up in the past and I will mess up in the future, but tip number four helps me get through that. But guys, thank you so, so much for watching. And let me know in the comments below, are you on a weight loss journey? What other tips can you give that you've noticed is really, really helpful on your journey? And you can always head over to Instagram at Lucy Shaw Vlogs. I'm uploading on there every day. Um, if not, I will see you guys next week. And hopefully I can do a nice weigh-in. And hopefully I can give you a nice 
lovely loss this week. <laughs> thanks again guys and all the best you are amazing you are worth it and you are capable bye guys